All right, everyone. This video, we're going to talk about how to choose the proper PoE extender for our IP devices and for our camera system. Well, first of all, we're going to have to consider one thing, the power consumption. We know how much one, one camera needs, but when we expand the distance, there's going to be more power loss in the process. So we have to recalculate the power consumption and choose the proper PoE extender with the proper amount of power. So then we're going to have to think about uh, our PoE extending the, the environment of it. If we extend it outdoor, then you, we're going to have to put the, maybe we're going to have to put the extender, you know, bury it underground or hang it in a tree or anyways, the environment's going to be different. It might be wet, it might be dusty. So then we're going to have to choose the ones who have IP67 ra ratings. These extenders can prevent the dust and water from going inside and compromising our machine. We have a lot of, you know, PoE extenders in the market. These two are kind of common ones. So how should we choose between these? Well, let's say you only have like one device or one or two devices that links to the camera. Then, you know, this one with two outputs is like the perfect one you can get. Because, you know, it only has two outputs and both of them are occupied and then your problems are gone. It's pretty easy. But say if you're having a big system and you're expanding your territory once in a while, you know, today you're going to add four. In the next two months, you're going to add another two because you have more corners you need to cover. A PoE switch would be a good choice because this can, you know, indefinitely keep expanding your network system. All you have to need is like add more PoE powered switches to the, this PoE powered switch. Once this is connected to our main network, uh, this will act as a PoE switch in the field. So it's kind of like an outdoor PoE switch and it's pretty mobile. So you can kind of expand your territory however you want without wondering, oh, if I want to set up a camera here, is it going to be too long, too far away? Will the reception be bad? You don't have to worry about a lot of these. Speaking of these two cameras, this one is good for like multiple cameras, but this one you can also daisy chain it, like uh, connect this one to another extender with two ports and chain it, chain it, it can go up to 500. In some circumstances, it's pretty useful. Now let's just do a really easy connection where I connect the extender to our network then to our camera to see if it works properly, which it should. First, because we're not going to have to use any of the waterproof features, so I'm going to take these knots off just for easy connection. So you want to connect the network cable to this. It's kind of hard when you have these knots on. It means they're good waterproofing. So this PoE in connects to our internet, to our power supply equipment. The power and data comes through here. And now, oh, sorry. Go longer. And now the light is hard to see, but you should be seeing this LAN indicator blinking. This means the power and the ethernet is going through. And now I'll use this ethernet cable, one end to a PoE out port. Here a click and then one end to a PoE in to the camera's input. You can see right here this orange indicator is blinking, which also indicates that the whole system is functioning properly. Now, f where all we have to do is just wait for the whole system to run, self, self diagnosis, then the camera will be functional. So yeah, it's pretty easy setup. And when you want to like add an extender to your system, it's not that hard at all. These are not that hard at all. This one's not that hard too. You just have to remember to insert the import to uh, port number eight, because this one receives the power and data. You can check more on my previous video, what is a PoE powered switch. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any post or comments, leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.